Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to join in on the fun. For today's tutorial, we've got an eye for spring with a sunny crop t-shirt. With this make, we brought texture via the lovely star stitch, a friendly flirty scoop neck and the cutest cap sleeves for a baby tee that's warm weather approved. Speaking of, if you're looking to add your warm weather crochet wearable, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet tutorials and patterns, including tons for fun in the sun, with even more dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado, for this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 190 grams of yarn, and that's 420 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us when's the last time you got your nails done and what color. I'm really into clear coats currently, and I do them roughly about once a week for myself. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And star stitch. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making an even number chain the width of the base of our neck. Now I need roughly 5 inches or 13 centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain 20. So now that we have our chain, we're all going to block off that last chain and do a chain 2. That chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then we're all going to start with 2 half double crochets. So yarn over. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with 1 half double crochet. So insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through 3, that's our first half double. Into the next chain, we're going to insert with another. So yarn over, into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Once we have those two half double crochets, we're all going to do our first star stitch. Now this is going to be how we're going to do our first star stitch for every odd number row, so it's going to be a little bit different than our traditional star stitch, so let's all do this together. We're all going to start by inserting our hook into the first horizontal bar into the second half double crochet that we made. So just taking a look at that second half double crochet, here's mine a little bit separated, we can see that we have this little horizontal bar right over here. So just into that, I guess, side loop, we can call it as well. We're going to insert it in through there, yarn over, and pull up a loop for two loops on our hook. Then from here, we're going to insert our hook into the same chain that our second half double crochet is worked into. So into that occupied chain, we're going to insert, pull through for three loops. Then for the first star stitch only, we are going to need to pull up five loops. So into that following chain, we're going to insert, pull up a loop for four, following chain, pull up a loop for five. Once we have our five loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and gently pull through all five. We want to make sure that we're not tugging too tightly on any of these loops, otherwise the following row can be a little too tight to work into. But once we've pulled through all five, we should have one loop left on our hook. Then from here, we're all going to chain one to form the eye of our star stitch. And that is always going to be how we're going to do our first star stitch. Now the second star stitch is going to be the traditional way that it is typically done, so let's get that one started. We're all going to start by inserting our hook into the eye of our previous star stitch. So just in through that chain that we just made, we're going to insert our hook, pull through for two loops on our hook. Then into the last post of our previous star stitch, so just that last side stitch that we have, insert into there, yarn over, pull through for three loops. 
Then inserting our hook into the same chain that our previous star stitches worked into, so that last occupied chain, we're going to insert, pull through for four loops on our hook. Now for these star stitches, we need to pull up six loops. So into that following stitch, we're gonna insert, pull up a loop for five. Into that following chain, insert, pull up a loop for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. When we have those six, yarn over and pull through all six of those loops, just like that. Then chain one to form the eye of our star stitch, and now our second one is complete. Now it's going to be a repeat of this one until we all have four chains left, so let's do this one again. Starting by inserting our hook into the eye of our previous star stitch, just in through that little gap, we're gonna insert and pull through for two loops on our hook. Then into the post that our last star stitch has, it could be a little bit smaller, but this is mine right here. I'm gonna insert my hook in through that last gap, pull through for three loops. Into that last chain that our previous star stitch has worked into, into that occupied stitch, pull through for four, and again, we need to pull up six loops. So just into that following chain, pull up a loop for five, chain right after that, pull up a loop for six. Then yarn over and pull through all six and complete the star stitch with a chain. We're gonna do this once more, a little bit faster. Into the eye of our previous star stitch, pull up a loop. Into the last post of our previous star stitch, insert, pull up a loop. Into the last chain that our previous star stitch was worked into, pull up a loop. Into that following chain, pull up a loop. Into that following chain, pull up a loop. And now we should all have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. So yarn over pull through all six and chain one to complete that star stitch. We're gonna continue to do this star stitch until we all have four chains left and then I'll meet you back. We've made our way down with our star stitches and we should all have one, two, three, four chains left. Now we're going to do our last star stitch. So all we're gonna do is start it off the same way as our previous star stitch so insert your hook into the eye of our previous star stitch, pull up a loop. Into the last post of our previous star stitch, pull up that loop. Into the last chain that our previous star stitch has worked into, pull up a loop. Into that following chain, pull up a loop. Chain right after that, pull up a loop for one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all six. And to complete this one, we are still gonna chain one but since this is the last one, we are gonna close it off with a half double crochet. So we're gonna half double crochet into the last stitch that our previous star stitch was worked into. So right after that chain, into that occupied stitch, which should be the third to last chain, insert with one half double crochet, and that is that. To complete the row, put one half double crochet into our remaining two chains. So there's one, and then into that last chain, there is two. Now our row one is complete. As a really quick tip, each of our star stitch rows, which is gonna be our odd number rows, will have one more stitch than chains that we made. But we're gonna make up for that once we get started on our second repeat for our star stitch row. But that's gonna start with a chain one and flip our work. So all we're gonna do is start with three half double crochets. That's gonna be the same for every size. The three half doubles are gonna be worked into the three half double crochets that we finished the previous row off with. So into that first stitch, insert, pull through, pull through two. Next stitch, insert, pull through, pull through two. Next stitch, insert, pull through, pull through two. Then from here, we're going to be single crocheting into the eye of every star stitch from our previous row. But only into the first eye, we're going to do one single crochet. So since we just single crocheted into the half double crochet from our previous row, into that following gap or stitch that we have, that is the eye of our star stitch. We can tell because it's a little bit smaller than our actual stitches from our previous row. So as an example, this is an eye. This is not an eye, because that's just a regular stitch. This is an eye from our previous star stitch right here, not an eye. And then this little gap right here is another eye, so on and so forth. So into the first eye that we have right here, we're gonna insert with just one single crochet that's gonna be the same for everyone, no matter what size we're making. 
we're going to skip over the following stitch from our previous row. Then that next little gap that we have should be another eye. We're now going to be putting two single crochets into the rest of our eyes. So into that stitch with one, into that same stitch with two. Again, skipping over that following stitch from our previous row, and that next gap should be an eye. So insert into there with two single crochets. Let's just continue this to reach the end of the row, skip that next stitch, into that next eye, two single crochets. So there's one, there's two. Skip that next stitch, into that next gap, insert with two single crochets. And continue this until we're worked into the last eye. And then we're just going to single crochet into the two half double crochets that we did when we started off our previous row. So here is my last eye. I'm going to insert in through there with one and then with two single crochets. Then from here, we're going to skip that following stitch because that stitch kind of counts as the stitches that we were skipping over. And then into that second to last and into that last stitch, which are the two half double crochets that we made when we started off our previous row, one single crochet into each. So there is one. And then into that last, there is two. And this is what our row two should look like. So like I said, every odd number row should have one more stitch than base chains that we made. But every even number row should have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So since I originally made a chain of 20, my row one would have 21 stitches, and my row two, the one that we just completed, should have 20 stitches. Now we're just gonna continue to have those same row counts for this section of our piece. And this is what it should look like. Now let's get started on our row three, so chain two and flip our work. So now getting started on any star stitch row, it's gonna be done almost the same way as our row one, but we are gonna be framing off our work with front post treble crochets. So pretty simple, we're all gonna start with a yarn over of two. Taking a look at our row one, we're gonna find that first half double crochet that we made, and then we're gonna insert our post stitch underneath that first half double, making sure that we are not counting that chain two. So into that first half double, we're gonna bring our hook down underneath the body of that stitch through the other side. Then yarn over and pull through. Then from here, we're all going to yarn over and pull through two until we have one loop left on our hook. So pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our front post treble. Then from here, we're gonna do a half double crochet. We're gonna skip that first stitch from our previous row because that front post treble counts as that stitch. So into that following stitch, insert with a half double crochet. Then we're going to do our first star stitch, which is gonna be done the same way as our previous rows. So getting that started, we're gonna insert our hook into the first side bar of that half double crochet that we made. So just bring our hook down into that side bar, pull through, into that same stitch that our half double crochet is worked into, pull through, following stitch, pull through, following stitch, pull through for five loops on our hook. Remember, we're only pulling up five loops for our first star stitch only. Then yarn over, pull through all five, chain one to complete, and let's just do the next one together as well. Into the eye of our previous star stitch, pull through. Into our last post from our previous star stitch, pull through. Last stitch that our previous star stitch was worked into, pull through. Into that following stitch, pull through. Following stitch, pull through for six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and chain one. Continue on with this star stitch that we just completed until we all have four stitches left. We've made our way down with our row three. We should all have one, two, three, four stitches left. Now we're going to do our last star stitch, which will be done the same way as our previous last star stitch. So into the eye of our previous star stitch, pull up a loop, into the last post of our previous star stitch, pull up a loop, into the last stitch that our previous star stitch has worked into, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull through, next stitch, pull through, we should all have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all six, and since this is the last one, we're gonna chain one, and also half double crochet into the last stitch that our previous star stitch has worked into. So yarn over into that same last stitch with one half double crochet. Now we're gonna do our front post treble crochet because remember, we're kind of forming a border, so yarn over twice. Into the second to last half double crochet from our row one, so this is my last, this is my second to last, into that one, underneath the body, yarn over, pull through, 
then yarn over and pull through two until we all have one loop left on our hook. Then to complete this row, yarn over and half double crochet into the last stitch. And now our row three is completed. Remembering since this is an odd number row, we will have one more stitch than chains that we made, but we're gonna fix that with the following row. So chain one and flip our work. So getting started on a row four, start with three single crochets into that first stitch with one single, next stitch with another, next stitch with another. Now we should be right next to the eye of our last star stitch from our previous row. Insert into there with just one single crochet. Then from here, two single crochets into the rest of our eyes. So this is my following eye. Insert with one, then also insert with a second single crochet and continue with two single crochets into the eye of each of our star stitches until we're worked into our last eye and then I'll meet you back. Now we're nearly complete with our even number row. I've just put two single crochets into the last eye. Now from here, it should look like we have three stitches left. All we're gonna do is put one single crochet into the second to last and into the last stitch. So we're going to skip that following stitch and into the next with one single, then into the last with another single. And now our row four is completed and we should now have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So now that our row four is completed, we're all going to chain two and flip our work. Now for this portion of our piece, it is going to be a repeat of rows three and four until we get the height that we want. Now I'm just going to repeat the beginning of this row just to make sure that we all have it down and I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So since we did our chain two and flipped our work, what we're going to do is our first front post treble crochet. Now only for the front post treble crochets, they're gonna be worked into our previous star stitch rows. So we're going to yarn over twice. It's just gonna be worked into our previous front post treble crochet so that we get a really nice frame around this detail. So just underneath our previous star stitch rows, front post treble, insert your hook underneath that body, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, half double crochet into that following stitch, then start off the row with our first star stitch, which remember it is done a little bit differently, then star stitch to reach the end of the row. Once we reach the end of the row, do our front post treble into our previous star stitch rows, front post treble, and close it off with a half double crochet. Then our single crochet row, and repeat. Now, like I said, we are gonna be repeating rows three and four until we get the height that we need. So making sure that we're placing our first row right where our waist is, then we're just gonna to continue to repeat those two rows with no increases and no decreases until we reach the depth of the neckline that we want. So if you make this portion with more rows, you will cover more of your chest, or if you do it with fewer rows, you will show a little bit more of your chest. That's completely up to you. But once we have that total height completed, I will meet you guys back right after we finish up an even number row, which is our single crochet row. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then we get started on the body portion. We are back. I've just completed the height of my star stitch detail. I have a total of 24 rows and this height is roughly eight inches or 20 centimeters. And I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. Now from here, we're gonna get started on the width of the body portion. So since we did do a chain up of one and cut, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the top left corner of our star stitch detail. So the opposite side from where we just did our cut. Now from here, we're going to pull our yarn through Start with a chain one that doesn't count as a stitch, that's just to secure. Then what we're gonna do is put one single crochet into every side single crochet row and two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So getting this started for everyone, we should start with a side single crochet row. So into that top loop, insert with one single. Everyone's following side row, which should be a side star stitch row. We should have this nice half double crochet, a big gap. So we're gonna insert with two single crochets. There's one, there is two. Again, our next side row is a single. So flowing that top loop with a single. Our next side row is this half double. Insert with two singles into there. So there's one, there's two. And complete this until we reach the end of the row. We've made our way down and our single crochet row is complete. Now we're going to do a slip stitch row all the way up. So chain one and flip. What we're gonna do is find the last stitch from our previous row. We're gonna insert our hook into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Then when we have these two loops in our hook, we're all gonna yarn over and gently pull through both of those loops on our hook. We wanna make sure that we're pulling through gently, otherwise the following row will be way too tight to work into. So let's do this again. 
into that next stitch, insert into that back loop, then yarn over and gently pull through both. And that's it. Continue with one back loop slip stitch into the rest of our stitches. We are back and we have just completed our slip stitch row, so let's get started on our following, which is our back loop half double crochet row. So from where we're at, let's all chain two and flip. Now, since we are along the top of our piece and we are going to want a little bit of a neck scoop, we're going to start with an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over. Into the last stitch from our previous row, we're going to insert with two back loop half doubles. So inserting our hook into that first stitch's back loop or the loop that's furthest away from you, we're going to insert, pull through. When we have these three loops, pull through all three. Then one more back loop half double into that same back loop. So yarn over. Into that same back loop, pull through pull through all three, and that is our first increase. From here, continue with one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. Then at the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way back up again, and then I'll meet you back. We are back. We have just completed our first four rows for our side panel slash this is our neckline. And all we're gonna do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows until we get a portion that can stretch over to mid collarbone or roughly where a bra strap or a tank top strap would be. And we do wanna make sure that we're stretching this piece as if we're wearing it because it will have a decent amount of stretch to it. So just to let you guys know, I'm actually already completed with my neckline portion. So I'm just gonna work with my four rows that we just did together. And my total width is just about five inches or 13 centimeters. You guys go ahead and get your rows completed and I'll meet you guys back along the top or right after a back loop slip stitch row. So now we can get started on the shoulder. So getting started on the shoulder, we're all gonna start by placing our star stitch detail at mid chest, making sure that our row one is still at our waist. Then all we're gonna do is make a chain that reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulders. Now I need roughly six and a half inches or 16 centimeters, so I went ahead and made a chain of 27. So once we have our chain, we're all gonna block off that last chain and chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's a turning chain, and we're just gonna do the following row in a row sequence, which is a half double crochet row. So yarn over into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. We're all going to insert with one half double crochet, just like that, and continue with one half double crochet into every chain then once we reach the body portion, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch to reach that end of the row. So our first shoulder row is complete. For our shoulder portion, we aren't going to have any increases or decreases. So all we're going to do is chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then our following row is going to be a back loop half double crochet row. And we're just going to continue to repeat those two rows with no increases and no decreases until we have a portion that can stretch over to the corner of our underarm. And then once we have that, I'll meet you guys back right after half double crochet row or along the bottom, then we can get started on the underarm portion together. We are back. Our shoulder strap is complete. I now have a total of nine rows and my total width is roughly six and a half inches or 17 centimeters. Now what we're going to do from here is our underarm portion. So put our work up to ourselves, making sure that the first row of our star stitch detail is still at our waist. And we're all gonna start by inserting our stitch marker into the stitch that we have that's nearest to the corner of our underarm. For me, it was roughly five inches or 13 centimeters from the top. So I inserted my stitch marker into the 20th stitch from the top. So what we're gonna do from here is our following row in a row sequence. So just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. We put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. Now we're just going to get started on the following row together, which is a half double crochet row. So chain two and flip your work. Now what we're going to do from here is just start our back loop half double crochet row off with a decrease. So yarn over into that first stitch is back loop, insert, pull through. Next stitch is back loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. Then continue with one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. Now all we're gonna do from here is continue to repeat our two previous rows. So a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases, and then a back loop half double crochet row that starts with a decrease of two back loop half doubles until we have a portion that can now stretch over to mid underarm. And I'll meet you back right after we finish up a half double crochet row, right after we do a chain up of one and cut, and then we can get started on the other side together. So we're back. I have just completed my underarm portion. I now have a total of 17 rows. 
and my total width is roughly 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Now we're going to get started on the other side of our front panel and it's going to be done pretty similarly to the front panel but we are going to be inserting our stitch markers into some different places because the ribbing that we have isn't reversible. So making sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, we're going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our star stitch detail. Then all we're going to do from here is our same single crochet row that we did when we got started on the single crochet row on the other side. So it's going to be two single crochets into every side star stitch row, one single crochet into every side single crochet row. Now just as a really quick tip, the other side started with one single crochet because that first side row is a single crochet row. But since we're starting along the bottom and we are working into our first side star stitch row, we're going to start with two. Next side row is going to be single crochet, so one. So just continue to do that single crochet row and I'll meet you back at the very end. We are back. Our single crochet row is complete. Now from here we're going to do a back loop slip stitch row, so just chain one, flip our work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then right after that we're going to do a back loop half double crochet row to match this side over here. But since we are going to be along the bottom we're going to chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last stitch, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can do our increase together. We've just completed our back loop slip stitch row and our back loop half double crochet row is nearly completed. We left that last stitch. Now into there we're just going to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So there's one and then there's two. From here we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows for the same amount of rows that we had on this side for our neckline. Once we do I will meet you guys back so we can get started on the shoulder. So we are back. We have just completed the neckline portion. We should all have the same amount of rows that we had on this side. Now we all should have ended along the bottom. So what we're going to do from here is just make a chain for the same amount of chains that we made for this shoulder portion. So all we're going to do is just pull out some slack and we don't have to do a chain up of one and cut because we're just going to reinsert our hook into our working chain to get started on the following row. But all we're going to do is insert our hook into this top corner stitch. Then make a chain for the same amount of chains that we made on the side. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain 27. So over here, I'm then going to make a chain of 27 for me. So we are back. I had just made my chain and did a chain up of one and cut. Now from here, we're going to do our shoulder. So I'm just going to reinsert my hook into the working yarn that we had along the bottom of our piece and do our falling row, which is going to be a back loop half double crochet row. So make your way up, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Once we reach the chain, we're going to be putting one half double crochet into every chain. We should end up with the same amount of stitches as our shoulder portion on this side. Then from here, we're just going to continue to do our back loop half double and back loop slip stitch rows with no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows that we had for this shoulder portion over here. Then once we do, do a chain up of one and cut because we all should end along the top. Then I'll meet you guys back so we can finish up with our underarm. I am back. My shoulder portion is complete. We all should have ended along the top, so I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now my total width is roughly 10 inches or 25 centimeters unstretched. Now we're going to finish up with our underarm. So what we're all going to do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches that we insert a stitch marker into for this side when we got started on our underarm. So for those of you that have my numbers, I inserted my stitch marker into the 20th stitch from the top. So I did the same thing on this side. Then from here, we're going to be inserting our hook into that following stitch, working our way down towards the bottom, making sure it's within the back loops. So this part's going to be easier if we flip our detail upside down. So since this is my stitch marker stitch, into that following stitch that we have, working down towards the bottom, we're going to insert into that back loop, insert our yarn onto our hook, then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Then just to get started on the following row, chain two, Flip our work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way back up, leaving the last two stitches, and then I'll meet back so we can do our decrease together. So we are back. We have just completed our back loop slip stitch row and then also made our way up with our back loop half double crochet row, leaving the last two stitches. Now we're going to close off the row with a decrease of two back loop half doubles, so yarn over into that second to last stitch, pull through into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. And that's it. From here, continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the first underarm portion that we did. Once we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back. We are back, and the entirety of our front panel is complete. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row, and just to let you guys know, I had a total of roughly 12 inches or 31 centimeters unstretched. 
Now we're going to put this off to the side and we're going to get started on our back panel. But I actually already have a decent amount of the back panel already finished, so I'm just going to be doing a small sample size with you. So getting started on the back panel, we're all going to start by making a chain for the same amount of stitches that we have for the last row for our underarm. Now it should be the same amount of stitches on both sides, so just pick one, count the amount of stitches. For those of you that have my numbers, I have a total of 40 stitches. So getting started on my back panel, I'm going to make a chain 40. But like I said, it's going to be a sample size because a decent amount of my back panel is already completed. Now that we have our chain, we're all going to block off that last chain and do a chain 2. That chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and continue with one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. We've made our way all the way down with our half double crochets. We should all have one chain left. So into that last chain, we're going to do an increase of two half doubles. So there's one into that same last chain with a second half double crochet. Now everyone's following row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, remembering to gently pull through everything. Everyone's row two is now complete. So let's just get started on a row three. So chain two and flip. From here, we're going to be doing a back loop half double crochet row that ends with an increase of two and a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So just get started on row three, yarn over, into that first stitch's back loop, insert with one half double. Yarn over, next stitch's back loop, another half double, continue, and then making sure that into that last stitch, we're going to do an increase of two back loop half doubles. Now we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows that we have for our front panel's underarm minus one. So as an example, here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows for my front panel's underarm. So for my back panel, since I already have it completed, I'm going to do a total of seven. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, and then I will meet you guys back once when the underarm is completed. So like I said, we're going to be doing a small sample size, and that includes the beginning of the back panel's width as well. So right now we're all going to pretend that our underarm portion for our back panel is completed. Now for those of you that have my numbers, we should all have a total of seven rows. Then what we're all going to do from here is make a chain for the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on the front panel's underarm. So for those of you that have my numbers, I skipped a total of 20 stitches. So from here, since we all should have ended along the top right after a half double crochet row, I'm going to make a chain 20. Now that we have our chain completed, again, mine's a small sample size, we're going to do the following row in our row sequence, which is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So block off that last chain and do a chain one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, insert with a slip stitch. So into that chain, insert, yarn over, and gently pull through everything. And continue with one slip stitch into every chain. When we reach the body, one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then from there, all we're going to do is back loop half double and back loop slip stitch rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases for roughly the same width that we have from our first shoulder row within the front panel all the way across to our last shoulder row. But I have already gotten mine all completed as you guys can see, so I did a total, including my underarm, of 40 rows. This width is roughly 9 inches or 23 centimeters unstretched. Then I'll meet y'all back right after we finish up an even number row or along the bottom. Once we have the width of the back portion completed, I will meet you guys back so we can get started on the underarm portion together. But getting started on the underarm portion, once when the width is completed, what we're going to do is start by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on the front panel's underarm portion. So for those of you that have my numbers, I skipped a total of 20 stitches. So from the top, I inserted my stitch marker into the 20th stitch. Now from here, since we all should have ended along the bottom, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches right before our stitch marker. We've made our way down with our back loop half double crochets. Now we should all have two stitches left right before our stitch marker, so all we're going to do is into that second to last back loop, we're going to insert, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. Then our following row is going to be a slip stitch row, so chain one, 
flip our work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then all we're going to do is continue to repeat those two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the back panels under arm portion. Once we do, do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you back. We are back. I have just completed the entirety of my back panel. Now I have a total of 47 rows. My width is roughly 10 inches or 25 centimeters unstretched. And now right before we get everything seamed up, we're just going to single crochet across the tops of our back and front panel. So we're all going to get started on the back panel first, since we just finished that. We're going to make sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up, and we're going to insert our hook into the top corner stitch of the back panel. We're going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And what we're going to do is just two single crochets into every side half double, but into the first and into this last side slip stitch, we are going to be doing one additional single crochet as well. So all of these side slip stitch rows in between, we are going to be skipping over. So since we insert a hook into this top corner stitch, which should be a side slip stitch row, we're going to find that top loop, insert with one single crochet, then into our following side half double, insert with two single crochet. So there's one, same top loop with two. Skip over that following side slip stitch row, in that next with one, with two into that side half double once more, skip over that following side slip, into the next side half double, there's one, there's two. Continue doing this, making our way all the way down, and don't forget to put one additional single crochet into our last side slip stitch row. Then do a chain up of one and cut. So the single crochet row across the top of our back panel is complete. Now we're going to do the same thing for the front panel, so let's get that started. Now for the front panel, we're just going to be working across the top of our straps. The idea is going to be pretty much the same as the back panel, but we don't have our outside rows to work into, which are our outside slip stitch rows. For the front panels, it's only going to be two single crochets into every side half double. So let's just get that started. So just making sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, and inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of our front panel strap, we're going to pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and since our first side row is a side half double, automatically find that top loop, and insert with two single crochets, skip that following side slip, into the next side half, two single crochets. Continue this until we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut, Repeat on the other side, and then I'll meet you back. So we're back. We have just completed single crocheting across the tops of our front panels. Now we're ready to seam the shoulders. So all we're going to do is place our front panel on top of our back panel, but making sure that the detail that we have is faced in on itself, because we want this seam to be along the inside. What we're going to do is insert our hook into the top corner stitch of both the front and the back panel, and we're going to do a single crochet seam. What we're going to do is yarn over, pull through everything. Then we're going to find the first stitch into the front panel, insert, first stitch into the back panel, insert, then we're going to single crochet around everything. And that's it. Let's do that again. First stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, and single crochet, and that's it. We're going to continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up one and cut, Repeat this for the other front panel strap, do a chain of one and cut there, and then I'll meet you back so we can seam our sides. So we have just completed the shoulder seams. Now what we're all going to do from here is our side seam. Our side seam are going to be outside loop slip stitch seams, so we are going to need to flip our work right side out, meaning all of our details on the outside, and the seams that we just did for the shoulders are along the inside. Then we're going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel, then we're going to get started. We are going to pull our working yarn through, do a chain up of one to secure. Then we're all going to start by finding that first stitch into the front panel and insert only into that front loop. Find that first stitch into the back panel, insert only into that back loop. Then yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And that's it. Let's do that again. Find that first stitch into the front panel, insert only into that front loop next stitch into the back panel, only into that back loop, then yarn over and pull through everything on our hook, and that's it. Continue 
with doing our outside loop slip stitch seam until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up a one and cut and then repeat on the other side. So we are back. Everything is all seamed up and now we're ready to get started on the waistband. So making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, we're all going to be inserting our hook into any one of the side rows that we have along the bottom of our piece. Then all we're gonna do is put two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. We are gonna be skipping over all of our side slip stitch rows and making our way all the way around. But once when it comes to working into the bottom of our star stitch detail, one single crochet is worked into each of those stitches. We're gonna go ahead and get that single crochet row completed and then slip stitch into that chain space when we're completed. The only thing is that this single crochet row is going to be as wide as this portion can stretch. So once when it's completed, make sure you try your piece on. If it's a little bit too tight, reduce some stitches with a looser grip, or if it's too loose, reduce some stitches with a tighter grip. But I'll meet you back once when it's completed. We are back. Our single crochet row is completed. Now from here, we're gonna start working on the length of our waistband. So right after we've slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to make a chain the length that we'd like for the waistband to be. Now I'd like for mine to be roughly two inches or 10 centimeters, so I'm gonna start by making a chain eight. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do a slip stitch row. So block off that last chain, do a chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Into that chain that we blocked off for the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through everything on our hook with a slip stitch, and since we already know how to do our slip stitches, continue with one slip stitch into every chain until we reach the base. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our slip stitches, we're gonna connect it into the base, and how we're gonna do that is simply finding that next available stitch into the base, insert with a slip stitch, and that slip stitch into the base doesn't count as a stitch, that's just to connect. Then to work our way up to the following row, find that next available stitch into the base, slip stitch into there, still doesn't count as a stitch, and flip our work. Then from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So finding the last stitch from our previous row, not those two slip stitches into the base, we're gonna insert our hook in through there, yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, still remembering not to tug too tightly, otherwise the following row is gonna be way too tight to work into. But when we reach the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and I'll meet you back at the base once more. We are back. Our first three rows are completed. Now we're just gonna connect it into the base together. So finding that next available stitch into the base, it is gonna be done the same way as our previous row. We're gonna slip stitch into there. That slip stitch into the base doesn't count as a stitch. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base. Still doesn't count as a stitch. Flip our work and repeat. From here, continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and just continue to repeat those two previous rows with no increases and no decreases, making our way all the way around. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, I'll meet you back so we can seam it all together. So we are back. We have all just completed our waistband and we now need to seam it together. As you guys can see, I have already seamed mine together and it's actually going to be the same exact seam that we did for the sides. So just to talk you guys through it, you guys are gonna make sure the work is still flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're just going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam, working our way up. We don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut. So now that our waistband is all seamed up, we're now gonna get started on our sleeves. So first things first, we're all gonna make sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're gonna be inserting our hook into the last side seam stitch that we have within our armhole. Then we're gonna do a single crochet row. So I'm gonna talk you guys through this portion. We're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. Once we reach our stitches, one single crochet into every stitch. Then I'll meet you back once we've made our way all the way up to our shoulder seam. We've made our way all the way up until we reached our shoulder seam. Now the amount of stitches that we have right now should be in multiples of three. Now some of you may not have stitches in multiples of three, like me. If you guys don't, go ahead and add an extra stitch or two into that same last stitch. I need to add an additional two stitches to make sure that it's in multiples of three. So into that last stitch, I am going to do an additional two stitches. But once we have this half of our single crochet row completed, we do wanna make sure that we're inserting a stitch marker into that last stitch so we know where one of our middle stitches are. Then from here, we're gonna continue on with our single crochets. 
sew one single crochet into every stitch making your way all the way down if you guys needed to add an extra stitch or two on this side you will be doing that on this side as well because they do need to have the same amount of stitches on both sides then just two single crochets into every side half double making your way back down so just to get started on this other side into the first stitch that we have on the other side of our shoulder seam insert with a single crochet and make sure we're inserting a stitch marker into that stitch as well because we will have two middle stitches no matter what size we're making continue on with this single crochet row and then i'll meet you back we are back and our single crochet row is complete we should have all slip stitched into that chain space and now from here we're all going to make an odd number chain the length that we'd like for our sleeve to be so we can make this as long or as short as we'd like now i would like for mine to be a short sleeve so if you guys would like for yours to be a short sleeve as well go ahead and start by making a chain five like me now once we have our chain the first star stitch is going to be a little bit different than the ones that we did for the body portion so let's get that started when we have our chain block off that last chain and do a chain one that chain one doesn't count as a stitch and what we're going to do from here is start by pulling up six loops so into that second chain that from our hook or into that chain that we blocked off we're going to insert into that chain pull through should have two loops like I said we need to pull up six so into that following chain pull through for three following chain pull through for four following chain pull through for five and into that following chain pull through for six for those of you that just made a chain five that should be our last chain now once we have these six loops on our hook we're going to yarn over pull through all six and chain one to complete now technically that is our first star stitch for those of you that have more than five chains you guys are going to continue on with our star stitches making your way all the way down until we have the last two stitches left when you do have the last two stitches left do that last star stitch and then once when you guys get the eye of that star stitch we're all going to do this following step together we're all going to put one half double crochet into that same last stitch that our previous star stitches worked into so just into that last chain that we made yarn over insert with a half double crochet now that is how we would normally close off our star stitch since we do need this to be an increase we're going to be putting two more half double crochets into that same last chain so yarn over into that same last chain with a second half double same last chain with a third so all together we should have three half double crochets now what we're going to do from here is slip stitch it into the base so all we're going to do is count up the next two available stitches here's one here's two slip stitch into that second stitch into the base to close off this row now that slip stitch into the base doesn't count as a stitch that's just to connect then to work our way up to the following row slip stitch into that following stitch into the base still doesn't count as a stitch and flip our work now what we're going to do from here is for everyone no matter what size you're making start with three single crochets those three single crochets are going to be worked into the top of the three half double crochets that we just did for our previous row so making sure that we're not working into any of those slip stitches into the base we're going to find that last stitch insert with one single with a second single and then into that next stitch with a third single crochet then everyone's next stitch should be the eye of our previous star stitch since this is the first one we're going to be putting one single crochet into there for those of you that have more star stitches to work into continue with two single crochets into the eye of each of your star stitches and then once we have one stitch left just like this right here simply put one single crochet into the top of that stitch and now our row two is complete now let's get started on the following row getting started on our next star stitch we're going to chain two and flip our work now the following star stitch is going to be how we're going to get started on all of our first star stitches for the sleeve portion so since we did a chain two all we're going to do is we're going to pull up two loops from that second chain from our hook so this is the first chain we're going to be skipping this one into that second chain we're going to find one loop we're going to insert pull up a loop for two loops on our hook into that same chain we're going to find another loop insert pull up another loop for three loops on our hook then we still need to pull up six loops so just into that following stitch pull up a loop for four following stitch pull up a loop for five following stitch pull up a loop for six 
Once we have these six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six, chain one to complete, then do our regular star stitches until we all have two stitches left. When we have these two stitches left, we're going to need to do our last star stitch, but with an increase. So it's all going to start off the same way that most of our star stitches have started off with. So into the eye of our previous star stitch, we're going to insert, pull through. Into the last post of our previous star stitch, pull through. Into the last stitch that our previous star stitch was worked into, pull through. Then into that following stitch, which is our second to last, pull through. Following stitch, which is our last, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all six. Chain one to complete. Then to close off our star stitch, it's always just going to be one half double crochet. But since this is an increase, we're going to have to do an additional two. So there's our first half double. Here is the increase portion. So here's another half double. And then another half double all into that same last stitch. And now from here, we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So just like our previous rows, we're going to skip one and into that next slip stitch into there. And remembering that that slip stitch doesn't actually count as a stitch. Then slip stitch into that following stitch into the base to work our way up to the following row and flip our work. None of those slip stitches into the base count as a stitch and now we're going to do our single crochet row again. So as a refresher, we're all going to start with three single crochets, one single crochet into each of the top of the half double crochets that we just did. When we have that, that first stitch that we have right after that should be the eye. So since that's our first one, insert with just one single. Then into the rest of our eyes, we're going to be putting two single crochets into each of those. So here's my next one. Here's one. Here's two and continue on with that until we all have one stitch left just like this and close off the row with a single crochet and that's it. Let's just do one more star stitch row together and I'll let you do the rest on your own. So chain two and flip. Now to do this first star stitch together, take a look at the second chain from our hook. Insert in through one of the loops to pull up a loop. Into that same chain, insert into another loop, pull up a loop for three loops on our hook, then into that next stitch, pull through for four, next stitch, pull through for five, next stitch, pull through for six. Yarn over, pull through all six, chain one, then do our star stitches until we all have two stitches left. When we have our two stitches left, that last star stitch is going to be our increased star stitch. So to do that together, into the eye of our previous star stitch, pull through, into the last post, pull through, into the last stitch that our previous star stitch was worked into, pull through, into that next stitch, pull through, next stitch, pull through for a total of six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six, chain one, then three half double crochets all into that same last stitch. So there is one into that same last stitch with two and same last stitch with three. And now we're going to connect it into the base together. Start by counting up two stitches. Here's one, here's two. Slip stitch into that second stitch into the base to complete this row. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, flip our work and single crochet all the way down the same way that we've been doing. From here, continue to repeat these two previous rows until we reach our first stitch marker stitch. That row should be a single crochet row and then I'll meet you back so we can work our way down the decrease hide. We are back. We have made our way all the way up with our star stitches and we have worked into our stitch marker stitch. Now we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did on this side, but with some decreases. So to get started on the following row, we're going to get started on it the same way that we have for our star stitches since we all should have ended along the outer edge. So chain two, flip our work, do our star stitches, making our way all the way down, leaving the last two stitches. So we've made our way all the way down with our star stitches, leaving the last two stitches. Now what we're going to do from here just for this row is just do our star stitch with no increases and no decreases. So this is going to be per usual. So into our previous star stitches eye, pull through, into the post, pull through, into the last stitch, pull through, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all six, chain one. And for this row only, 
we're going to close off the row with one half double crochet into that same last stitch. Now we should have two less stitches from our previous row with the way that we closed this row off and we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we did as this other side. So we're going to start by counting up the next two available stitches. There's one, there's two, slip stitch into that second stitch, still doesn't count as a stitch, slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, still doesn't count as a stitch, flip our work and then do our same single crochet row making our way all the way down. When that single crochet row is completed, chain two, flip our work. Do our star stitches all the way back down, leaving the last two stitches and then I'll meet you back to show you how we're going to do that decrease and the rest of the decreases for the rest of the sleeve. So we're back. We've just completed our single crochet row and also made our way back with our star stitches leaving the last two stitches. Now we're just going to close off the row with a decrease. So all we're going to do since we just completed that last star stitch including with finishing up the eye, we're just going to yarn over and insert our hook into that second to last stitch, pull through, next stitch, pull through, pull through all four and that is going to be how we're going to decrease for all of our star stitch rows from here on out. We're going to connect it into the base the same way, then do our following single crochet row the same way per usual and that's pretty much it. We're just going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into into the base. When we don't, I'll meet you back so we can seam it all together. We are back. We have just made our way all the way down with the decrease side of our sleeve. While we don't have any more stitches left to work into, we're all going to do a single crochet seam. So I already have mine completed on both sides actually, so I'm just going to talk you guys through it since we did a single crochet seam for the shoulders. So flipping our work wrong side out, we're going to do a single crochet seam until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other side. Then once we have both of our sleeves completed, the last thing we're going to do is just a simple single crochet row along our neckline to clean everything up. All that's going to be is making sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up. We're going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch. Once we reach the few side rows that we have along the edges of our detail, two single crochets into every side half double and then one single crochet into every stitch working our way across the top. We're going to continue on with that making our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain space and do a chain up of one and cut. Then when all of that is completed we are all done. Last thing we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one. Bye.